Hi guys, so today we're going to be showing you how to install the Ghost VPN on your OpenELEC installation um, Kodi TV player. Uh, now the reason that you'd want uh, a VPN will be for privacy, so um, whenever you're watching stuff um, we always recommend using a VPN. Uh, keeps you private. Uh, make sure that there's no snooping going on and um, adding additional security. So we are going to run through setting up CyberGhost. Um, there are many, many other VPN providers, but um, uh, we're just going to be showing you how to install CyberGhost on your Kodi OpenELEC installation. So once you've gone to the website, created yourself an account, um, you will be able to log in and create yourself a um, an entry for your device. So, as you can see here, this is on the uh, account section under my devices. What I've done is I've created a new device, and that automatically generates credentials. So um, we can just run you through this. So you click on a new device. Um, anything else? that isn't any of these, i.e. Uh, we are using a Raspberry Pi 2. So we click on um, other and that will then get, show you this area here where you can click on that to create some new credentials. So what we've done is we've created some credentials called OpenELEC. So we've given that a device name. That is just a naming convention on the website. There's nothing for you to do there. Now. You can see here it's given me a username and my password for the credentials. I can't do anything with that at the moment because I need to tell it um, which uh, which country I'm going to be VPNing into. So I am going to select, don't know why, oh, let's pick the Netherlands. Um, that will then create our credentials and then we can download the configuration which is a zip file which contains your, um, your private key information. So we'll download that. Okay, so once that's downloaded, I uh, have saved that on um, a NAS drive. Uh, now the reason for that is um, we need to get those credentials onto the device itself. And I've just saved them into um, directory on the NAS. As you can see, here's my um, CA and my private key and the, uh, the OVPN. Uh, installation file which I don't actually use so all I'm using is the uh, certificates. The key thing here is obviously to make sure that wherever you're saving them you can um, you can navigate to that location from your uh, from your open elect installation uh, to be able to install them. So from the CyberGhost VPN account uh, section you want to make a note of your username and password because you're going to be entering that into the configuration on your device. So make a note of it, uh, write it down and then you can um, type it in. The next thing we want to do is to transfer the files to our Kodi box using FileZilla. I'm going to connect using SSH uh, and SFTP. That uses port 22. Okay, so this over here is our home directory. Uh, we're going to create a new directory. I'm going to call this keys. And then we're going to add our keys that we downloaded from the Ghost VPN website earlier and stored on our NAS drive. I'm going to copy all those across and we're going to access those and install the keys. So once you've got your keys, the next thing that you need to do is download the various repositories for the Open VPN Manager. So that is contained in the repository called Zomboided. Um, what I've done is to go off and find that and again I've downloaded that and added it to my NAS drive which I'm going to be accessing from the device itself. So the Zomboided uh, repository can be found on the GitHub website so if you look at the URL here github.com zomboided repository zomboided.plugins releases 
Um, this is the uh, plugin that you want, the repository plugin. So you need to download that and save that. As you can see, I'm going to actually put it into my NAS drive, into the repo here. So I've got it uh, already there waiting to go. OK, so here we are on our OpenELEC Kodi installation. The first thing we want to do is to go to our system settings and install the repository. So we want to go to our settings here and then down to system settings and then add-ons and we want to enable unknown sources so we're going to switch that on we're going to accept the options and that's that bit done so once we've enabled uh, unknown sources we want to come down to add-ons that's it this area here click on that and then install from zip file and then we're going to navigate to our NAS drive <clears throat> and this is where we save the zomboided um, repository so we select it and that will install it add-on installed up here as you can see and then we want to install from a repository go to services we want to add the VPN manager for OpenVPN come down and install that okay so the next thing you can either pick settings or wizard um, we're just going to go to settings <clears throat> and this is the settings for OpenVPN so what we're going to do is we're actually going to change this and we're going to choose CyberGhost and this is the uh, username and password that I mentioned earlier so you'll find it will be a lot easier if you've got a keyboard and mouse for this section. So enter the username Nice easy username and the password. Say OK to that. And I'm going to go back in. And then I'm going to actually add a connection.
Okay, so I've actually got a premium account. And I'm going to choose the Netherlands because that's what I selected. Which is the NL. Okay, so earlier on I transferred the certificates and the OVPN file using SFTP into my home folder uh, in a directory called keys. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to install my client key. Client certificate. And that's all there is to it. So that's us now connected to the VPN server in Holland. You can do this as many times as you want for different VPN connections. So as you can see here, you can have an awful lot of VPNs to scroll through. Um, but uh, whenever you start the your Kodi installation, uh, it will go off and connect automatically um, to, to the VPN. That's all there is to it. So what we've run through here is downloading the keys, installing the keys, setting up the Open VPN Manager, and um, getting it to automatically connect every time you launch your device. If you found the video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check back for further. Uh, videos on Kodi or OpenELEC. Thanks.